Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. Um, as you may know, I'm also active in some of the survivalists forums. So I've been thinking about what would I do if I uh, would be caught in the middle of a the shit hit the fan situation. So would I be able to build a slingshot from standard material so I don't have a choice to go and buy complex rubber and all these things and go and find a fork? Well, I think I am. And all I'm going to need for this is like a broomstick, anything, any piece of round wood that's solid enough so it doesn't break easily. An old shoe, usually you have that lying around. Some duct tape. A knife. Nice good knife. And, as a propellant, rubber. In this case, condoms. Just standard, regular condoms. And of course we're going to need a few of them, since one is just not hard enough. It's already a little power behind it, but we're going to need at least six of them per side. And we will try to make a powerful slingshot from nothing but these components and with this as the single tool. Okay, so we cut off two pieces of the wood. It's about 20 cm long on each side. And as you know, we need a groove around here for later on. But also, you have to flatten the end pieces of it a little bit, so that if you put it together, it forms a V. So what we're going to do now is we're going to fix this V with a little bit of duct tape. So now we formed the basic V shape of the slingshot. Next, we take something that we also carved out, which is this wedge from the same broomstick. And what we now do is, we wedge it in between this here. Put it in and fix it with the duct tape. So this is the finalized slingshot frame. And it's very sturdy because of the wedge. So we now attached four condoms per side. It looks quite disgusting. I hope it's functional. And how you tie it is you take a fifth condom and wrap it around with a lot of tension. Just so that the rubber is always fully stretched out. This creates tremendous force here at the fork tip. And it holds it very solidly in place. So now we have attached both sides to the, to the frame and we also cut out a patch of leather from the tongue of the shoe and cut through two holes to it and then use the kink and tie method to just put, it, put the tips of the condoms through and then fix them with a bit of string. You could use the shoelaces if you want. And now we have a functional slingshot. So that was pretty good and that was just with four condoms per side. I think it's easily possible to use twice that and then you're going to have a very very powerful slingshot. See, it's a very good emergency slingshot. And you can do it just with a knife and a broomstick and some condoms. Thanks, bye bye.